This is a special video preview of the Bob Thurman Podcast. There you are. Okay. Hi, this is Bob Thurman. Happy Thanksgiving. We should try to be happy on this Thanksgiving, as we should every day, as we should be giving thanks every day. Actually, Thanksgiving is a kind of bitter pill for me. Ever since in my teens, I learned about how the settlers and pilgrims in Massachusetts genocided the Indians who saved their lives on the first Thanksgiving, and then proceeded to thanksgive to God for giving them the food. And <clears throat> that upset me in the sense that Thanksgiving has to be more than just to some being who doesn't need your thanks, actually. <laughs> the people who need your thanks are the people who help you, are the people who are around you and don't harm you, and the people who make life livable for you, as we are social animals, as we are beings that live in community. They're the ones who deserve our thanks. But we are very lucky, actually, those of us who have enough to eat, who have a warm enough house, who have a house, who have, uh, you know, a little bit of money to buy food, or have food in some way, or have grown food. In other words, well, for all of that, we, are through, we should be grateful and thankful, and we should m move it toward being able to recognize that life on Earth is supposed to be fine for human beings, in, in harmony and concert with other beings, managing them for their benefit, mostly, of course, there is some, you know, there has been some meat eating over the many millennia, and in a way we can't automatically stop that just right away by a, by a wave of a wand, but um, we should try to stop a lot of it. It's, it's quite uh, uh, destructive, actually, that when it becomes industrial, especially, you know, the way the chickens are treated in sort of places where their beak and, 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 and claws are cut off and they are never allowed to move their whole lives so they just get fat right away and the, where the cows are also penned up in that way and it, oh it's just terrible you know the industrial farming and then the way the the manure is used badly and is not plowed back into the soil and diffused and it's rich richness used to 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 fertilize the fields because that's going to be we're going to buy some from the oil company and then their their manure is kept in horrible pits and it pollutes all the water system so that's really horrible, and we should really stop it. And we should learn to make from vegetable protein really good meat substitutes. I mean, put actually top chefs and chemists and whoever it is on that and make stuff that tastes like steak and roast beef for those of us who have that unfortunate habit. And yet it's made of vegetable protein. That's the key. That's the absolute key. But does anybody put effort in it? Yes, in India. And India is very much more large, high percent vegetarian, actually. Cows are respected. The Muslim community doesn't go along with that, and they do provide the meat for the meat eaters. But, and there are many of them. But still, uh, and the Hindus are bad when they too much crack down on that in a violent way. That's bad. But that they should wean them off and try to make substitutes where they would happily eat something made of vegetable protein that is as delicious and as gravyish and as wonderful as any as any meat eater thinks that those things are wonderful, and uh, so that all that is true. So we should be thankful that the planet it provides all this plant protein. That the planet is perfectly arranged with all the scientists all freak out about how we have all these numbers that are exact proportion of this to that and the other that make it viable for life on Earth. We live in a kind of miracle, scientifically conjured miracle, or it's traced miracle, of balanced forces of energy of earth, water, wind, fire, air, and everything. And we, we live in such a thing that we can thrive in that if we live sensibly. If we live horribly and, and violently and destructively, of course, there's nothing that could be balanced enough for our violence and destruction. So that the great Thanksgiving means being grateful and opening our eyes to the perfection of the world, actually, and how it's up to us to correct our imperfections and that the world does not need us to re-engineer it and retrain it and destroy it and wreck it the way we have been doing. That's absolutely so. 
We should give thanks to our scientists, actually, who, although they are currently trapped by the dogma of materialism, never to, from avoid looking into more subtle things about mind, but never mind, they are still measuring what's going on and they're studying it and they're analyzing it and they're observing the causality and they're learning to interfere in it in ways that are positive. Unfortunately, some people use their insights to use it in ways that are negative. So, but anyway, we are thankful for our scientists. We're thankful for everyone. And everyone is trying to do something, but there are a few who are so frightened and they're so afraid of the way things are that they only feel secure when they have like billions of dollars and when nobody can say no to them. And they are just, uh, you know, sort of narcissistic thing because they didn't get a satisfactory affection from their mother, because they didn't, maybe for many lives they hadn't done that actually. And because their father was maybe too harsh with them and because their peers were bullyish to them. They become really so frightened that they become nasty and they don't care about themselves really, but they are, reward themselves with all kinds of futile efforts to satisfy themselves with surface things that don't really go deep where the real source of satisfaction is in your central nervous system, in your heart, in your in deep in your brain, you know, all the way up and down your body, you know. And they don't find that. So then they go grab other people's bodies and torture them in various ways, thinking somehow they might have more more joy in their body. Actually, the ones who have the most joy in their body, they get most aggressive with because they want to get into that other body. So it's very sad that there are people like that. And in trying to protect ourselves against them and their works, we should be thankful that we have all our own equipment where we operate from a place of joy and energy and positivity and optimism. And we go into their hell-like abodes of violence and dissatisfaction and suffering and torment. And we try to help them save themselves from themselves, actually. Which in, but it involves also saving others from them because they project that misery of theirs outward in a very unfortunate way. They're not really evil. What they do is can be called evil and that is harmful to others. But they are not really evil themselves. They're just very frightened and frustrated and lashing out against the universe. And uh, we must be grateful anyway that they haven't succeeded over hundreds of thousands of years because if they had really succeeded, we'd all be dead. There would be no life on earth already. You know, since 1945, now that's, that's like um, 70 years, 72 years, you know, we could have had nuclear war on this planet and we could be all dead. And it's actually a miracle that we haven't. And there was that phase where there was hundreds, you know, hundreds of th or thousands of times over could destroy the whole planet. And should two fairly moderately intelligent people in the US and Russia decided to press all their buttons, we could have all been obliterated. And, if, and you know, if and they were very freaked out and frightened people and they were very violent often. And they, yet they didn't do that. They did not do that. And there's something, therefore, that we should be grateful for, that we're still here. And we should not allow ourselves to be crippled by fear. That's really important for Thanksgiving. But anyway, my Thanksgiving... To listen to the full podcast, please visit BobThurman.com or subscribe via your favorite podcasting platform. Thanks for listening and Tashi Delek.